All right, y'all. Want to welcome y'all in? Welcome y'all back. Uh, subscribers, not subscribers, everybody out there. Um, we're gonna jump in and look at Silencio. I know the spelling is a bit weird, but that was on purpose. Um, this is a whole mix of Henley Tile, Demos, Stroud. Stroud stuff is fairly straightforward and simple. The ion beam 1030, the Stroud nose cap. Um, the CP220 cockpit, you're going to need um, two SAE 5660s, you're going to need. And I believe that's it from Stroud. Really, not much, if at all. Yeah. If I miss anything, I will label it in the description so you know what all the parts are and I'll include the video link to uh, all the Star Yard Ship Services technicians as well. Alright, so that's it for Stroud. Nova, you don't need these, but I threw Nova thruster arrays on the side of the engines. Uh, now for Deimos, two Deimos wing A's, two Demos wing D's, five <laughs> Demos spine A. <clears throat> All right, you're also gonna need three Demos spine D's, uh, spine C, and two Demos radiators, two Demos spines, and a Demos tail, as well as six of the demos wing e and i believe that's it for oh, if i remember correctly yet all right cool the remainder of this is oh wait demos two braking engines and a demos belly uh, the rest of this is going to be tile All right, top B workshop, armory, three stack of companion ways. Well, you'll see as I build this. I like to leak the whole thing. Hit bed 200, landing bay aft. Now, I'm going to go ahead and knock out all of these. Uh, we need a companion way, bottom B, not top. All right, so from that ship bed. Companion way one by one B bottom. Now we're gonna go to a mid. And this attachment point, top D. Knock it out on the very bottom. We're gonna slap on. There's my yeah, CP220. From this middle one, I'm gonna go ahead back to Habs. Try to knock all this out quickly. Um. Two by one mid computer core. Back here, we're going to go top B for the two by one. Um, I want this back here. There you go. So we're going to start surrounding the uh, ship bed landing bay here. I'm not going to leave it stuck out there. A armory workshop on the side of the mid companion way here. Uh, and up, I'm just going to throw in a 2x1 top B roll station from here. Uh, 1x1 one one mid, right? I'm going to kick off from here. Leave the all-in-one berth. This side. Nope. Living quarters. Force it up. That's where I want it to be. I don't want it back. I want it forward. All right. Now, I'm going to kick it back up. And top B. Battle stations here. And. Yeah, captain's quarters. Now we're going to drop down to the all in one berth. Throw our companion way through the living quarters. 
or it might drop you directly from battle stations down to companion way. For some reason, I think this was a yeah computer core. Captain's quarters, that's fine. Control station, computer core mid. All right, now go knock out the landing gear. Going to be one on the front here of our all in one berth. One more under our living quarters here. We're going to kick one more back here. I think it's two actually. Right on either side under the workshop, there's two pinpoint 4Gs and two pinpoint 4Gs under the armory. And again, under our living quarters, there's one. Under the all-in-one berth, there's one. All right, fuel tanks. No, not the 300. 400 G. Going to sit on the back of our front pinpoint 4 G. Duplicate drop that on the other pinpoint 4 G. So you'll have this kind of look going here. All right, now I'm going to leave this open because we need to be able to see more cockpit here. Okay, now engines, I'll go ahead and completely just knock these out real quick. Uh, where's the ones I bought? SAE 5660s. These are going to sit right on the back of the captain's quarters. One on the other side on the back of the theater core. Now what? Battle stations. I don't like the computer core. Alright, now Nova. I had Nova 1050s. Where'd they go? Oh, here we go. I'm going to need two of those because ours are going to sit right on the back here. Of the workshop and the pinpoint 4G at the rear. I like duplicate flip bang that's where that goes okay um dockers I didn't do a bottom did I yeah that's gonna sit on the bottom of our one by one B behind the cockpit here gotta knock this out I'm going to head over to <clears throat> shields. I think it's, yeah, Warden SG-400. That's going to sit right on top of your ship bed 200 landing bay. Yeah, don't want to exit. All right, so A. Oh, uh, where are we here? The Nova thruster arrays. I'm going to knock these out real quick since we're here. On either side of the SAE 5660s. Light duplicate flip. Alright, now. Get away from all that. Um, I do need the braking engines. I'll drop this one in front for now. Um, tile braking engine starboard. I grab that, pop it on the front of our armory and our pinpoint 4G landing bay there. Highlight this, duplicate, drag it over and flip it. Bang. Right on the front of our workshop and our other pinpoint 4G here. All right. <clears throat> While I'm here, tile cowling, I'm going to pick this up and hit left on D-pad to flip it. This is going to cover the shield. Um, we're going to need two more of those, so I'll grab this, hit right on D-pad to flip it. Well, left on D-pad to keep it one way. Then drop it right under the SAE 5660 here. And I'm going to highlight, duplicate, and pop it over to the other side here. 
Mm. All right, gonna flip that around. We're gonna kick it on front of our battle stations here. Another one onto our captain's quarters. So you'll have this kind of look here. All right, braking engines are gonna go right on the front of pinpoint 4Gs at the front where we put our, don't forget, fuel tanks here. All right, fun part. Now we're going to go, uh, I'm going to grab, I've got a few more things I need here. Uh, Demos, I'm going to need a lot. Demos braking engines, I'll set that to the side. Um, spine A, sit that off to the side. Spine B, I'll sit that off. Uh, radiator will sit there. I'm going to need spine C's. Drop that there. And tail A can sit there. Um, while I'm here, I'm going to scroll over using right bumper to cargo. Um, and per my usual, Galleon S204. These you can probably guess by the mouth waiting to be fed right there in front of our all in one berth in between tile cowling and the braking engine there. Duplicate. Drop it. Braking engines are going right on the front of that cargo there on both sides here. Alright, we're Structural, that's another thing I'm going to need the Deimos belly. May as well just drop it all now because uh, I'm not going to go anywhere. Need a porthole, a porthole four, porthole tops, and a Deimos wing A's, Deimos wing D's, I need Deimos wing E's. Round. Nose cap E, where are you? There it is. Cool. Now that that's out of the way. I'm gonna go over to reactors. I'm gonna go up since I already grabbed everything. The ion beam H1030. It's gonna go right in between the tile cowlings and our battle stations there. All right. Tab over to Gravs. We're going to go all the way up till you see Helios 400. Fourth option down. Um, we're going to drop this under the ion beam in between our two uh, cargo holds here. Now this Deimos belly on the front of our Grav drive here. And our Crowd nose cap E, probably guess, right on our ion beam reactor here. Okay, now the fun part. This spine A, or well, 105, is going to go right on top of the reactor here. Radiators, if I remember, get up there at the back of the battle stations and one right in front of our oh wait hey go back I don't need that cowling at the back the most radiator on the back attachment on top of the control station and one on the back of our battle station all right demo spine B right behind the spine A here Eat this camera, it drives me nuts. It wants to flicker around everywhere. Get that next spine B, put it behind the other radiator here on top of our Pennyway D. Tail A. Put the, grab that tail A, put it on the back of the companionway here, just above our companionway mid. And your shield here. So that sort of deal. 
Alright, now, spine C, you can probably already guess. Right in between these two radiators here. Although I kind of want it up further, because that's going to get the juice shock ooze. That's alright, so <laughs> I'm going to grab another spine A, pop it on top of our captain's quarters, and then duplicate it, flip it, sit it right on the engine here. All I'm going to do is select both, duplicate, drag them over to the other side, on top of our battle stations and the other engine. Now, spine C, duplicate, and drop in between each of the spine A's here. And that's that. Alright, now what? We're going to go... The wing A's, these are going to cover up the uh, LNS 204s in the front half portion of our all-in-one berth there. It'll be the same thing, duplicate, drag, flip, and pop it on the same point. Why is this thing acting like this? There we go. <laughs> so the front half of our living quarters, I was zoomed in too far, and our Galenus 204, Demos Wing A. Wing A. Alright, so our Wing D's, we're going to pick this up. Left on D-pad, flip it aft, and it'll sit right behind our wing A here. So highlight, duplicate, drag, and flip. Boom, same spot on the other side. Alright, we'll get to all these portholes in a second. I have a lot that needs to go on here. So I'm going to pick up the wing E, right on D-pad, flip it. The port aft, so the curve is facing. Bigger curve is facing aft. Drop it on the side of those in point four G's in front. I'm gonna highlight, duplicate, drag and flip. It'll sit on the other pinpoint four G here. All right, got two more. We're just gonna duplicate the one on the left or starboard side here. Drop it on this pinpoint 4G. Right behind our IO braking engine under our armory. I'll duplicate this left on D-pad and drop it on the second pinpoint 4G here. Not that one. All right, now I'm going to swing over to the other side to make this easier. Highlight, duplicate, drag, and drop. That's it. Same positions on the port side. Alright. Now, I'm um, going to start with the porthole 4. We're going to drop this right on the front companionway here. And I'm going to need a number of windows, so bear with me. There's a lot on here. I like windows, so if you don't, go ahead and delete them. You're just going to lose all that field of view. If you're like me, you spend a lot of time on your ship. You don't want to sit there like trapped in a shell with no way to look out of it. It's like being in a cell or something. I don't know. So grab that porthole four or porthole port. And we're going to drop it right on our living quarters here. All I do is highlight, duplicate, flip, probably go up one, and I'll sit on the all at one berth here. Alright, so now we have a porthole top. I'm just going to flip it bottom. And that's going to sit on the bottom of our battle stations here. Two by two. Another porthole bottom. Sit right on this other companionway. Alright, now uh, I'm going to grab another porthole. I'm going to duplicate these two, drag them out. 
Um, this one's going to get flipped to the aft position, this porthole 4. And I'll go right on this mid companionway at the rear. So we can look right out. Shield. Alright, this other porthole port is going to get duplicated and dropped everywhere. So this one will go right here on our captain's quarters. And duplicate and pop it on the other attachment point. I'll just duplicate, flip, finish off the front half before I go to the back. Set this on either side of the battle stations here. Alright, so what I do is just duplicate. I'm going to drop it right here on the control station. And you can probably guess where it's going. On the sides of the armory. And duplicate again. And duplicate one more inside of the workshop and duplicate flip on the inside of the armory here. So now there's a 3D view of your shield. Underneath is going to be a 4 5D view of the armillary right here. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead inside the armory and just duplicate this window and pull it out. Just pop it on the workshop here. And just D-pad up and pop it on the control station after duplicating it one, two, three times. Alright, y'all don't need to do this, but I do. I like having them everywhere, so... I'm going to take the porthole tops and pop them on top of the workshop. Then select both, drag them over on top of the armory here. Alright, we didn't do the weapons yet, but we will. And instead of coloring this thing and dragging you all through it, I'll just exit out because this is 100% accurate replica of what I built already. And then I'll show you the colors. Okay, weapon. Alright. Uh, the CE19s. We're just going to do two of them as a backup because this thing will shred by itself. We need two of those, and those are going underneath the Viking CP220 here. So one here, and then I'll duplicate and put one there. Two right here. Alright, I think I had the Jishaku Aniku Rapid, but no, you never know. You don't have to. These are 38. These are going to go up top, not down there. Um, 38, 53, 23, Daco or Alniko. We're going to sit those on either side of this spine C here. And I'm just going to select both, duplicate, drag them over to the other spine C. You might have to go back and forth so you can... Take them off, drop them, just put them on one by one. Either way is cool. Alright, now we go with the lasers. Because I'm running ballistics and, mil and missiles, I want lasers. Dragon 251P UV pulse laser or use fire slower. I don't really like them, but more damage. Uh, damage is whoa 251s all right one's gonna go on the bottom of the wing a all right that might be difficult you may have to take her around with you know d-pad up d-pad down then duplicate go down why is that oh i have to pull this back this goes on the wing d this goes on the wing e Worked before, I don't get it. Something wrong. Unless I glitched something, I don't know. Well, it's not even glitched. Everyone keeps saying that, it's starting to rub off, but there for a reason. Anyway, I'm just going to duplicate this bottom one on the E and drag it over here. So, duplicate. Oh, that's how I did it. Delete that. 
duplicate and it pops up. So that bottom one, place it on the wing E first. Come on, highlight. Then apply to duplicate. It'll drop it underneath the wing A. That's there we go. Done, baby, done. Alright, and then you go through the process of assigning the weapons. Oh. Why is my D-pad not working all of a sudden? Hold on, let me try this again. There it is. Weapon 2, Y button, CE19. I think I'm going to have to go back to my... uh. My turtle beach, because all of a sudden the snake bite's acting up. Um, weapon one, that's left trigger, is going to be Shaku. Right trigger is going to be the lasers. We'll start with that and then bring it down. And that's that. 26 light your jump range, 95 mobility, top speed of 140. Mass of 1678 or 1678. Max crew of 8. Cargo, 3240 base. Shield of 1,125, hull 1,151. Uh, missile damage 213, ballistic damage 212, lasers 44. I'm going to cancel out, and there we are. Perfect. Oh boy, coloring was a big pain in the butt here. Everything had to be colored separate. Let's see, what did I do with the... Yeah, all the tile halves are uh, defaults. Unless this one got colored. Three, two. Um, actually... Put that as defaults. This one better not have another color. No, all the tile halves are defaults. Good, perfect. Um, such a pain in the butt to do. This has those ugly UC colors, but whatever. Uh, for all the demos, I think the wings were color two and three. Hold on here. Yeah, color three gray. Pause and copy. Color two is gray. Color one is this odd, we looking blue. All right. That's the only color. Color one is the blue for all the uh, spines. Now for the Deimos wings, go ahead and highlight all these. Or right bumper to select them. All right. One is the gray. You can copy that if you'd like. Color two is that blue. You can pause here. Copy that if you'd like. Color three is that same gray. Same as color one. All right. Breaking engines. Color one is a different kind of gray. You can pause here and copy that if you want to. Color two is the blue. Color 3 is the same color as color 2. So you can pause and copy that. Oh, the braking engines. What did I make those? These are all defaults. Okay, so all the tile stuff is default. Oh, no, it's not. It should be. What? Alright, color three for some reason is that permanent blue. I can't get rid of it. Anyway. Deimos. Belly. Color two is blue. So if you copied that, don't worry about it. Color one, certain type of gray. To try to get all of this to match up with the default tile gray. One weird note is that if you look at tile ships, Mako... Shark, narwhal, dolphin, 
uh, orca. Io is just dolphins in space. If you if you really look at the naming convention and what they look like, dolphins in space. Anyway, <laughs> uh, all of the landing gear should be defaults. Oh no, they're not. It's the UC color two is the blue. Color three is that same similar gray. I don't know. This was a pain in the butt. So if it drives you nuts, it, <laughs> it drove me nuts. So I prefer not to drive you all crazy, but you're welcome to color this thing. However you want to. But that's it. I'm going to exit out. I'm not saving any modifications. All right. Before I go in, is it there? No. Okay. Well, I have to go take it out, put it back in, then come out and then show you it's a pain in the butt. But we're going to go in through the back here. And through the back door. Going to be a number of ladders. One straight up here, and there's going to be another one to drop around, but cockpit's right here. There's no no reason to uh, run, run, Sometimes run. I just want to turn off the grab drive so we can float around. All right, so the armillary, remove, then build it. See how it just lightened up, right? Walk up here, crouch. There's the armillary. Hey, that was weird. Something's wrong. Alright, so we're gonna go up a level real quick. Gonna be two hatches, remember. Workshop, armory, computer core. Kick around right here. Workshop. I wish this was all dark, but hey. Almost fell down the hole. Jump in here into our armory. Really not much to it. Open this up. Come on. Computer core here. Alright, that's enough. Go up one more. Poor jet packing. Boost packing skills. Nothing here, just a companion way. Here's our control station. Uh, no windows. <laughs> Open this up. Nope, already. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Computer core. I think I remember why I chose not to. Because, uh, it would be like kind of open skip through the ladder walk this way but it is what it is walk into our computer core before we drop down in the windows did it replace it I think you can see it from here no you can't no here you gotta go up but you can see it from right here the normal area again Oh well, we drop down, we're going to go into our little living quarters here. And again, if you look at that corner angle here, the armillary. Pop over here, into the... Oh, what? Why is the living quarter all in one burst and there's only two beds in here? Or two racks? Anyway, look over in this one. Malaria again. <laughs> that might make you all dizzy, but you know, I play a lot of FPS games in you know, my long old lifetime so far. Feels long. Anyway, into our computer core here. Nothing to see, just the outside. Wait. Playing a lot of cyberpunk, so I've kind of can't see it from here. Might have to put battle stations back in. Urgh. Playing cyberpunk, right stick is to crouch and I keep hitting that. Anyway, 
Here's our captain's quarters. Alright. I wonder what happened here. Because there was a window you could just crouch down and like look from here and you could see the armillary, but you know, the whole changing of the hab works so well. Wait, which ones jump again? Why? Okay. <laughs> hey, Captain. Need help with anything? No, I don't need you. Alright, we're gonna take off. I'll jump around in some combat. on in engines here. Kill speed is what? 199. 200. Let's see what we got here. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Not bad. 735, 736. I'll leave that output warning lasers. 1, 2, 3, and grav. I uh, really don't need for missiles, but I think y'all know where we're already going. We're gonna hit up Serpentis. Uh, hello? That was a bit of a delay. to go. Let's go. We'll cut back on that speed a little bit so I can, uh... Law of physics. The faster you go, the harder it is to turn. You're just gonna fly. Like a drag race. Where'd you go? The You're really gonna hit me with some cotton balls and run away. What about you, Captain Stooping? Okay. Fight me. There we go. Any good lighting I can leave y'all off with? Yep. Alright. Well, with that being said, uh, let's see how good this mode is. I want to thank y'all for stopping by, checking this out. And definitely, if you enjoy and like this ship, thoroughly enjoyed that process, definitely drop a like and subscribe. And I will catch you all on the next one. I'll give you a better angle.
<laughs> I'll catch you all later. All right. Later on.